Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some potato cakes. These are lovely potato cakes. When I have a little bit of red capsicum, I have a, a spring onion left over, I always put it together and make these lovely potato cakes. What I've done here was I've boiled three medium sized of potato and I mashed them up and I've boiled ready. I'm not going to add any more salt because I've already put the salt in the potatoes and I'm just going to add the pepper after. So what you do is just put it all together. I had a little spring onion left over the other day and I put it, I just put it in the deep freeze and uh, put it in there. And then after I had a, a little bit of a green caps, a, a red capsicum, half a red capsicum, so I'm putting that in there. Whatever you've got and whatever you've got inside. Uh, I've got half a cup of grated cheese I like to put in there. Just put, mix that all together and I've got here about half a cup of chopped bacon, uh, ham I mean. You can have bacon or ham but I like to put the ham. It gives it a more sweeter taste to it. But just put that all together. So we're just going to put those all together. I'm going to put some pepper on it. These are so lovely. All you have to do is have a, a couple of these with some sausages. That's beautiful, just put together. I like that red capsicum, it gives it that lovely color to it. And I've already, I've got two eggs here that I'm gonna to add to it, okay? And just mix that all together so quick. Look, as long as you've got everything together so quickly, you can boil those potatoes and have them cooked and then you can just put it together whenever you want to. I like the colour of it with that red capsicum and that spring onion and that ham in there, ham or bacon, whatever you've got inside. Look, you need about half a cup of everything and I'm going to add a quarter cup of plain flour to that. Okay, and we're just going to put it, I've got some nice olive oil on my pan and this is just a beautiful mixture. I'm just going to fry them up. Lovely. Now, whatever you've got, if you've got a green capsicum, you can use the green capsicum. If you've got, I like having the red capsicum, it gives it a bit of that color to, through it. Look, I'm just going to put my, my pan on and we're going to keep on frying them now. All to do, that, that was quick, wasn't it? Just put it all together, as long as you've got a spring onion inside. Sometimes you've got an extra spring onion. I just chop it up and put in a little plastic bag and freeze it. So anything like this can come out of your deep freeze. You can have that capsicum in the deep freeze. You could have, uh, and then you've got cheese. You've got to always have cheese inside. Now just get a, a nice big tea tablespoon of that and just put it in. I thought that's hot enough. I'm just going to put it in there like that. Beautiful. They come lovely, honestly. Lovely. Okay, just put them all together like that. And, and until they're nice and brown and then you can turn them over. You, make, you do quite a few here. And, and you've got that lovely colour of that red capsicum which makes it so nice. There you go, just put it all together like that. And I'm just going to fry them up and make them just nice and brown. It's lovely. You can need a hot, hot, hot pan and just put them all together like that. You make quite a few and these go beautiful with even so on the barbecue with a lovely uh, couple of pork sausages or sausage meat, beef sausages. Look, they are beautiful, look. They can have either have them hot or cold. Uh, they're very nice to have a hot or cold, whatever you want. Uh, just turn them over like that. Look, you've got some lovely potato cakes here. Just I had I had the three medium size of potatoes there, and just put that like that. Turn it over. Look, beautiful. I'll just turn this other one over, and we've got. You make quite a few. Look, there's five there. You could make another half a dozen here, so you'll make about a dozen or more. Just turn them over like that, 
And look, until they're nice and brown, when they're nice and brown, you can take them out. I, I like putting that red capsicum, it gives it that little red colour to it, and that spring onion gives it the flavour to it, the cheese and the ham or the bacon, whatever you've got inside. Look, they are beautiful, especially if you're having a barbecue, they are lovely with a couple of sausages on the side. Now I'm going to switch that off. I, they are done. I'm going to show you these that are done. Look, beautiful. Okay, look. Just put them on some paper. They are lovely. And it doesn't take long. As long as you've got everything together, it really doesn't take long. Just put it all together. It really didn't take long. And heat up that pan. And look, you've got these beautiful potato cakes. I, I always say that what I have left over, sometimes I put it in a little plastic bag and throw it in the deep freeze. Now, anything like that, I had a, a spring onion, I had half a, a, half a capsicum, red capsicum, and you've always got grated cheese inside and all you need is a little bit of ham or bacon, half a cup of that. And, and then I put three eggs in, two eggs in there, I'm sorry, I put two eggs in there and a quarter cup of plain flour to bind it all together. I put the salt in the potatoes when I was boiling them, mash them all up and you've got, look, you've got four, five there and you can have another half a dozen here. It probably would take 12 to 14 patty nice uh, potato cakes, okay? Look, they are beautiful. They are lovely and firm and they eat, you can eat them like that, they are beautiful. And with that red capsicum it gives it that little flavour, that spring onion gives it that extra flavour, that cheese. They are beautiful potato cakes so I hope that you'll try them and enjoy them. There's something that you can do with a barbecue, okay? Even, even have it in a, in a lunch, whatever you want, with a salad, okay? Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.